Hey guys, how are you all? My name is Harshit Devedi friends and I welcome you back to this video of mine. So in this video friends, I will be discussing this topic of branded medicines versus generic medicines friends. Okay, this generic medicine is a cheaper version of the branded medicines. So all the doubts regarding these two things friends. Also, how can these generic medicines help us to deal with the menace of non-communicable diseases and other dangerous diseases which are plaguing the whole world, especially the countries of the African continent and the Asian continent, especially Southeast Asia, friends, countries like India and your countries like uh, Mali, Niger, South Sudan, Sudan, Nigeria, Democratic Republic of Congo, Chad, Somalia, Eritrea, Djibouti, Ethiopia, Botswana. So all of these countries are also suffering from these problems of diseases, friends. So how these generic diseases can help? All of these things will be discussed by me in this video, friends. This figure shows you this branded version of the medicine is being sold at 85 rupees and when the same medicine is coming at the generic it is costing rupees 25 rupees so this is the difference between generic and branded the generic is too much less cheaper than the branded but here comes one question then if it is cheaper what is the guarantee of its quality so we are going to talk about this thing friends generic drugs are way cheaper than branded drugs and uh, which we know and that is that makes us feel that generic drugs are not of good quality but this conception is completely wrong friends the point is that we need to understand that why this branded medicines are expensive see friends branded medicines are made by big medical organizations now when a branded medicine is made it is made according to diseases friends you know lot of analysis statistical medical chemical is done on these medicines and on the basis prospecting of uh, you know uh, cure is being done lots of uh, resources are being uh, you know used and then bulk drugs are involved and obviously a lot of research and development involved lot of thought process involved after the drug is uh, you know prepared human and animal trials of these drugs takes place which has a lot of regulation and which is actually very expensive friends because if a human is testing the medicine on himself he is going to charge very very high okay friends so all of these things come to go on in complete phases and finally when the drug is made marketing of the drug promotion of the drug taking the drugs to the people all of these things also in require cost okay so a lot of expenditure is involved at the initial stages of planning and also whatever these medical companies are doing they are doing not for charity friends they are doing for profits by making these medicines they want to earn the profits that is why they are doing so much of hard work okay friends so when finally the drug is made and it is being introduced in the market its price becomes very very high because that price also includes the huge margins of the manufacturers that is why they become billionaires in a matter of year <clears throat> so friends what happens that <coughs> what are whatever drug formulators patent make for example if some medical organization or big medical company has made a drug okay now if he it has made the drug if it has done all of the research and development if it has done all the knowledge process so obviously the credit of making that drug goes to the manufacturer so that manufacturer will get a patent for that drug and that patent will be eligible for a certain time period now suppose i say that a patent for a drug is given to a particular medical organization for 10 years now for this 10 years only this drug manufacturer will have the sole right to manufacture that particular drug formulation and when he has the sole right when he has fully of the drug in the market it becomes his discretionary power to disguise them to you know to uh, you, you decide the market price of that particular drug that is the biggest thing friends that when they have a discretionary power when they know that selling of this drug is the sole right of theirs they actually sell it for very high price so that they can get huge margins they can have heavy uh, uh, you know pr profits but the point is then when these drugs are being sold for a very high price this becomes difficult for many countries especially countries like india also neighboring countries like bangladesh sri lanka pakistan when we go to south you know african continent a lot of countries are there which i you know talked to about initially like chad and uh, somalia senegal etc so obviously these people 
people living in these countries they don't have money they are very poor how are they going to buy such expensive medicines okay friends so the people living here they cannot afford such expensive medicines now that is why this compulsory licensing thing was bought in india now before moving forward with this topic i would like to tell you what this compulsory licensing is the first compulsory license was being provided to patent you know granted by patent office to hyderabad based natco pharma on 9th of march 2012 for the production of generic version of bayer's nexavar this nexavar was a cancer treating agent used for treating liver and kidney cancer okay now the point is that what is this compulsory licensing in india it is under the trips agreement trade related intellectual property rights so under the trips agreement it is being said that if the domestic conditions of a particular country compel it to do so it can actually allow a pharmaceutical manufacturer to produce the generic version of a patented drug so for example a patented drug say is being sold in india it belongs to a us firm now if the requirement of that particular drug is very very acute very very urgent so in that case it can be allowed that the generic version of that particular drug be made so that people can get instant benefit so this is allowed under trips friends also it was said in this case bayer versus nato that only 2% of the cancer patient population has a easy access to drug and that the drug is sold by bayer at an exorbitant price so this nexavar drug it was being sold at a price of 2.8 lakh rupees per month and this was the time of 2012 friends see in 2012 2.8 lakh rupees per month is the cost of treatment of this drug named nexavar just think friends can a poor person afford this thing it is impossible for him to afford this thing 2.8 lakh rupees per month around 3 lakh rupees per month people in india are not getting job of 20000 rupees per month even mbas are not getting job from bad colleges so things are very acute okay so it was not possible to purchase drugs for 2.8 lakh rupees per month so obviously nexavar <coughs> the generic version was made and that generic version was available for 8800 rupees per month now the branded version was 2.8 lakh rupees per month the generic version is 8888 rupees per month and it was said that whatever royalty you know whatever sales of the drug will be coming 6% of the sales will be given as royalty to the manufacturer so this was also said so it was not entirely unprofitable for the manufacturer but yes it became unprofitable because the generic version was made now what are basically generic medicines friends first of all we need to know this so generic medicines are basically copies of brand name drugs that have exactly the same dosage intended use effect side effects route of administration risk safety strength as the original that means it has everything which the original drug has it has the same strength same medicinal properties same side effects same dosage same way to inhale it so everything is same pharmacological pharmacological effects are also same friends for example for diabetes a generic drug is metamorphin whose branded name is glucophage for hypertension the generic medicine is metropol whose brand name is lopressor now see this brand name starts with a capital letter glucophage starts with capital g lopressor starts with capital l but this generic version metamorphin m starts with small m metroprolol m is smart m starts with small m so there is one thing that branded drugs are capitalized while generic drugs are not in all sense <laughs> now here capitalized make two things branded Uh, drugs are being capitalized means that they are heavily capitalized heavy profits are being getting from you know intended from them whereas the generics drugs are selling very very cheap so not very heavy profits are coming and the second meaning of the capitalized here is that the first alphabet of that branded drug is capital whereas that of generic drug is a small only so you can see the metaprolol metformin m is caps lock is small and when it we come to glucophage and lopressor g and l were what they were caps lock okay now obviously after the patent of a drug expires so what will happen so in that case a manufacturer who wants to fun, you know manufacture the generic version of the drug it will apply to the food us food and drug administration okay so that permission is being granted to them and in india this task is being done by department of pharmaceuticals okay so this is the case friends also if <coughs> the patent is being registered with a foreign you know for example if in in india generic 
drugs has to be made friends and the patent was originally approved in USA so a formal permission for USA initially is required and after that you know after the permission is given this US food and uh, this department of pharmaceutical comes into play so this is also very important friends also the generic drug has the same active pharmaceutical ingredient bulk drug which is present in that of the branded drug so this was one more important thing friends so you can understand here that basically the salts involved in making the branded drugs the same salts are involved in making the generic drugs and obviously whatever costs are removed the marketing cost is removed the promotion cost is removed the royalty cost is removed the heavy margin profit cost is removed so sort lot of costs are removed so obviously the medicine will become cheaper in india which program is promoting the generic medicine so it is pradhan mantri bharti jan aushadhi pariyojana kren which is launched by department of pharmaceuticals government of india this provides quality medicines at affordable prices to people through special kendras which are known as pradhan mantri bharti jan aushadhi kendra okay it pro these kendras provide genetic drugs which are sold at very less price but they have the same quality and efficiency and this scheme is being implemented by bppi bureau of pharma public sector undertakings of india it is in the department of pharmaceuticals government of india friends and all the central public center enterprises are helping it into setting up these inside many central public sector enterprises banks and public buildings these gen aushadhi kendras have been established so everything about these <laughs> generic drugs i have told you friends kindly keep one thing in mind that generic drugs are not inferior they have the same effects so if you are thinking that in this gen aushadhi kendras you know cheaper drugs are there they would not be good people are having these type of thoughts so don't think that friends even if they are cheaper they have the same effects as the branded medicines are having it's only that the branded medicines are taking huge margins these medicines generic medicines are not taking huge margins and generic medicines are very very important for ensuring the health security of regions like asia and africa because health is going to be a big problem in coming days friends so this problem cannot be solved without the development of generic drugs and the generic drugs market of india is growing at a very very fast pace friends and also in other developing countries so thank you for watching this video i hope this video was liked by you if it was liked by you friends kindly like my video subscribe to my channel please tell me through your comment section below that how you like this video and please share this to you more and more friends so goodbye